Hi guys, in today's video I'm gonna share my favorite beans recipe that was made by my grandma. However, I have two favorite beans recipes and each one of them is cooked by each one of my grandmas. So today it's grandma number one, that's her, and you are going to love it. And also I am going to share three tips with you on how to cook your beans so you don't end up after three hours of cooking with beans that sound like gravel in the pot. And on to the recipe and the tips. So for this recipe, I'm going to use two cups of pinto beans. And I'm gonna start by washing the beans and I'm gonna wash them a couple of times and change the water because they do come pretty dirty. So make sure to wash them a couple of times, maybe three times until the water is clean. And here is tip number one. After you wash the beans, fill up the pot with water again, close it and you have to let the beans sit for eight hours in order to make your life easier. So fill up the pot with water, put it in the refrigerator and let it sit for at least eight hours. But make sure to put it in the refrigerator, otherwise your beans are gonna start sprouting. After eight to 10 hours, take the beans out and we're on to the recipe. Start by pouring the water out and adding four cups of fresh water. Then set the pot on a burner, close the lid and set it to high, but here is tip number two. Wait until the water starts bubbling and then turn it down to medium low because beans, this is the second tip, beans don't like to be rushed, they like to be cooked slowly. If you bring them to boil and you try to boil them in half an hour, ain't gonna work. And now two hours later, we're ready to move to the next step in the recipe. And here I'm gonna give you tip number three. As you saw, I didn't add any salt to the beans and I'm not going to even now until they're completely done because salt will stop beans from cooking. Also tomatoes, if you like to add tomatoes to your beans, add them at the very end, otherwise they will stop the cooking. For the final cooking, you will need olive oil, half a tablespoon of salt, two tablespoons of dried mint, three tablespoons of sweet paprika, and two large onions. Start by slicing the onions as finely as you possibly can. Then add oil to the pan, set the heat to medium-high, add the onions, then add salt and paprika. Mix everything well together, cover it with the lid, and cook it for 20 minutes and medium-low. After 20 minutes, the onions should be nice and soft. And now I'm gonna add my cooked beans. I will drain the liquid, but I will keep the liquid. I will not get rid of it. So I'm gonna add the beans. I'm also going to add the dried mint and about cup and a half of the liquid where the beans were cooked. I'm gonna cover it and I'm gonna let it simmer and low for one hour. So the secret to my grandma's super delicious beans, lots of onions, lots of sweet paprika, dried mint, and cook them slowly, very, very slowly until they're nice and creamy. And soon I'm gonna share these grandma's beans. They're very delicious as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!